Welcome to Will It Shoe. I am here in the Goral Workshop in Sheffield, incredibly warm in this real authentic made in England Bellstaff jacket. Or so it says. It's a nice jacket, but it's definitely not a genuine Bellstaff. A friend of the company had their doubts and they asked us to take a look at it. And uh, the big man, Bogdan, pretty quickly, well, picked it up and immediately knew it was counterfeit. So we did some tests, which you can do to figure out whether something is real or fake leather, and suspicions were confirmed. But we're still gonna make a pair of shoes out of it because what a waste that would be. Footwear, clothing, and leather goods are the three biggest shares of counterfeit seizures worldwide. The problem with this growing industry is the use of poor materials, poor working conditions, unregulated labor, and a complete lack of transparency and accountability. What we have here is a thin synthetic leather made out of either PVC or polyurethane. We're leaning towards PVC based on the couple of quick tests we've done and how thin it is. When PVC ends up in landfill, it does not decompose like natural leather and can even release toxic chemicals into the water and soil. Polyurethanes are non-toxic as they break down and the sort of lesser impact of PU on the environment is making it slightly more desirable as an alternative, but nothing really is as waste conscious, eco-friendly or durable as genuine veg tan leather. Again, we're gonna have a go at making our minimal Mella sneaker out of this. So if you wanna see a little bit more history and where that style came from, then you can check out our scraps video in the link in the description. So we're gonna send our real, genuine, authentic, made in England bell stuff jacket and the pattern off to the workshop and see what comes back. Thanks, Richard. These are the uh, <laughs> belt staff ones. Ugh. Which if you're watching this video, you will know because we're not gonna mix up the editing. Okay. They look like shoes. Um, they kind of look a lot more wearable and shoe-like than the scrappy ones on the uh, on a recent episode. Hey, are they the... Uh, is that the elbow patches on the toes? It's yeah. <laughs> a nice touch. Cool. What do you think? I kind of like those. Before it was kind of like harder to tell that it was a fake leather, but now it's really, really easy to see. I don't know if that's just some of the like heat processing or treatment it's gone through during the making, but yeah, they definitely look like fake leather. I don't think they'd hold up with a lot of wear. Hmm. Look good though. The main feedback I got from the workshop for this was that during a few of the heat processes and the lasting and stuff, it absolutely stank, like really bad. Which whilst, you know, there is a smell to leather when you're working with it, it's more of a natural smell, like a, a burnt hair apparently. Um, so, you know, it's like, it's not nice to work with and it's not nice to have, so. I can't see us wanting to do much more with uh, le leathers like this. I think we can pretty successfully say that they have shooed for now. Um, like I say, would be really interesting to see how they hold up. Let us know in the comments, would you wear them? Do you want them? Does anyone want them? <laughs> Thanks for watching. I think that is a very, very, very successful 
it has shooed. Will it shoot, shoot, it's shooed?